Hey there, in this quick video, I wanted to talk about ginseng being used as an adaptogen. So let's dive in. So there are actually many different types of ginseng, but we're gonna talk about the Panax family. So also known as Chinese ginseng, Korean ginseng, or even red ginseng. So ginseng is one of the most researched, so we know a lot about ginseng and how it works. We often think of it as an adaptogen because it actually affects the HPA axis. So it doesn't just affect, say, the adrenal gland, but it can actually affect the feedback loop between the brain and some of your other organs that are releasing some hormones. So in that way, it can actually help to modulate the production of things like cortisol. When we're dealing with stress and needing to bring on an adaptogen, this is really important. Ginseng is also known to be a great antioxidant, meaning that it can help to scavenge free radicals. Now, free radicals are those uh, molecules that are produced during normal metabolic functions that can often start to cause tissue damage if left unchecked. So ginseng has great antioxidant properties that allows it to scavenge or kind of take away these free radicals. And that also lends it to be sort of anti-fatigue as well as anti-aging because we're preventing premature tissue death or cellular death as well. Ginseng's often thought to also improve memory because it has particles known as ginsenosides, which is a constituent inside of ginseng that can actually inhibit the effects of beta amyloid plaques. Now, these types of plaques are thought to play a role in the degeneration of memory. So it's often seen that ginseng can actually kind of improve your memory and help your concentration and focus. As with most adaptogens, ginseng is also very anti-inflammatory and can often inhibit lots of inflammatory cytokines. Again, like most adaptogens, it can also help to modulate the immune response. So we call it an immunomodulator, meaning it can uptick or kind of downregulate the immune system as well. An interesting fact, ginseng is also thought to help to increase alcohol clearance as well. So it's often used sometimes in tonics for hangover cures. Now, the one thing I will say about using ginseng long term is that sometimes it has been shown to have some estrogen like effects. Not all studies, but some studies have shown this. So it can often increase things like FSH or LH and even testosterone. And I've also seen it really cause insomnia if taken at night. So make sure you talk with your functional medicine provider or your herbalist before you try ginseng. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. As with most adaptogen, this one is often going to be mixed with other types of adaptogens or synergistic herbs as well. So again, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope that this video was helpful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it helps other people find the channel and be sure to subscribe so that you know when I post a new video next week. All right. I will see you soon. Bye.